All right, peeps, what's up? Zap here, and we're back with episode number 21 of the Zap Talk series. Got quite a few questions I want to go ahead and get through, so let's not waste too much time here and go ahead and answer you guys' questions. This first one comes from Thrashing Dio 93 He asks, Bruh, would you be down with a do Resistance game for the PS4? Um, actually, I would like to see another Resistance just for the sole purpose of closing out the series. Um... I don't know if that's going to happen because I believe Insomniac is also working with Microsoft now um, and they just recently did Sunset Overdrive so if that were a possibility then they would probably end up putting it in the hands of another studio or something like that and the game would probably suffer it probably wouldn't feel the same as uh, previous iterations of Resistance just because it's being worked on by another studio but if another Resistance was in the works then it will have to be done by uh insomniac and i don't really see that happening so but you know if if it did happen if there was talks i would love for it to happen because i'm a huge resistance fan this next one comes from trent stacy he asked what are your opinions on rpgs like fallout and elder scrolls possibility we will see some rpg videos i'm interested to see how you perform um rpgs that require an insane amount of micromanagement turn me off and you know games like fallout and elder scroll where it's easy to get lost in the actual gameplay and not for me not lost in a good way i mean where i end up losing track of what i'm doing um then yeah i i, I don't i don't play them i'm not a fan of fallout i'm not a fan of elder scrolls i prefer uh, and I know that this is going to actually sound weird, but I prefer, when it comes to RPGs, RPGs to be relatively linear. Um, I mean, yeah, I can do my level up on my characters and upgrade my characters, abilities, and things like that. But as far as, you know, a vast open world where I can literally do every, anything and everything I want, I technically don't need that. Um, I just want... A fairly simplified role-playing game experience you know um, but do I like RPGs yeah but do I like ridiculously uh, OD RPGs no I don't um, EJ Thompson asks yo zap I know you play outlast and PT actually I never played PT um, <laughs> but would you ever play five nights at Freddy's I've uh, never heard of it but uh, I don't know I'll look into it I've honestly never heard of Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, and I never played PT. <laughs> uh, Pac-Man 96 asks, What are your thoughts on COD Advanced Warfare? Are you excited for the next Unreal Tournament? Well, so that's two questions in one. Um, as far as Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, my thoughts on that are, it's another year, it's another Call of Duty. It's just now, this time, it looks a lot like Crisis. But, um... It's, it's another Call of Duty, it's whatever. And as far as the next Unreal Tournament, I'm absolutely stoked for the next Unreal Tournament because it's going to be free to play, and it's going to be PC only, and I can do whatever the hell I want with it, mod it, trick it out, do whatever. I'm definitely stoked for the next Unreal. Like, why wouldn't I be? I love arena Twitch shooters. Amazing. Quake, Unreal, childhood right there. Uh, Rene Vargas asks, Hey Zap, did you see the new... Pokemon X Tekken game called Pokken Tournament Fighters. If you, if you did, what are your thoughts about it? Um, we'll see. I lost touch with Pokemon years ago, years and years ago. I stopped playing uh, Pokemon or even keeping up with Pokemon after the Silver and Gold era, uh, which would be the uh, Johto region. So I. Any of these new newer Pokemon, any of these Pokemon that came out after Gold and Silver, I don't necessarily care about. But, you know, if it's a, a legit, uh, functional fighting game, then I'll play it. You know, I have no problem playing it. But I just don't play bad fighting games. I refuse to play bad fighting games. Which is why I will never play Killer Instinct. Um, Chris Pickett asks... Zap, what do you think of the Splinter Cell games? I am not really a fan of stealth games. I hate stealth games. Too boring, too tedious. The closest thing to a stealth game I'll play is The Last of Us. <laughs> That's the closest thing to a stealth game that I'll play. But other than that, 
stealth. I hate stealth games. They're so boring. Uh, the Springs 02 or Springs 02, my bad. He asks, "Is that questions about fight sticks? I know most people in the FGC swear by them, and that they are supposed to be better to use. But does it take a while to get used to them? It seems like I'm better using a controller than a stick." But I've heard people say you'll start off worse on a stick, and then after a while, you'll be better than you were on controller. Was this the case for you? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, I spent a lot of time playing video games in arcades. Um, I didn't spend too much time playing at home, actually. Uh, and the only games I played at home were uh, beat-em-ups like Streets of Rage or Turtles in Time and stuff like that. So. As far as fighting games goes, I play a lot of them in the arcades, back when the arcades were still relatively popular. I used to go to Wonderland down in uh, San Diego and, you know, play play games for hours just with nickels, because they only charge you nickels to play games. But uh, yeah, I, I spent most of my childhood playing games in arcades. Now, um... As far as you being better with controller than with stick, stick with the controller. It's all a matter of preference, okay? The reason why people enjoy stick so much is because... Okay, let me, let me reword this, okay? A lot of people jumped on the fight stick bandwagon and now they swear by them. But initially they were better with controller. They probably still are better with controller. But I think that people should just find what they're best at and just use it. Uh, me personally, I can't use the controller for most fighting games. Uh, I can use pad on Mortal Kombat and Injustice because they don't require strict inputs. Um, but with everything else, I need a damn stick because I need to be able to do those inputs. Now, if you can do those Dragon Punch inputs and those quarter circle back forward inputs on a pad, then do you. Like, you don't have to follow the crowd. There are a lot of really great tournament players that play on pad. For instance, Cloud805 plays Zero Dante Virgil on pad in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um, Smug and Zeus, they play, uh, and Snake Eyes, they play pad in Ultra Street Fighter 4. Fnatic plays pad. Marvel 2 Veteran. So you don't have to play on a stick to get good. Do what you do, man. And if anyone's trying to tell you otherwise, then just body them while you're playing on pad. Like, fuck it. You don't have to play. And plus, a stick is a pretty good investment. A, a decent stick is a very, uh, is a very, you know, costly investment. So if it's not necessary, definitely don't do it. Um, Applejacker says, hey, Zap, you want to play TF2 sometime? I hardly play Team Fortress 2. I play it every once in a while if I'm bored, and you know I only played it just so I can get some quick video footage up for the last Zap Talk series. So, no, I'm probably not gonna play it that often. <clears throat> uh, Coils06 asks, "It's not gaming related, but do you have any top three movies that you would consider to be your personal favorites?" Um, hmm, that's a really good question. Um, yeah. I'd say, in no particular order, I'd say the original Night of the Living Dead from 1968, um, the Dawn of the Dead remake um, from 2000, what was it, 2? And, or was it 2004, whichever. The Dawn of the Dead remake and... Uh, Damn. Um, I'd say in recent memory, Mama has become one of my favorite movies. Like, just because the movie itself is creepy as all hell. But I liked Mama. Mama was a good movie. Um, but I throw Mama out there just because I can't think of a third one right off the top of my head. <laughs> but as you can see, I love zombies and, and ghost flicks. Yeah. Like a Bouse guy asks, uh, what all... Charters, I think you meant to say characters. Do you play in MK or in Justice? In Mortal Kombat, in Mortal Kombat 9, I played Reptile as my main, Shang Tsung, 
and I dabble a little bit with Ermac, but primarily Shang Tsung and Reptile. Um, in Injustice, I play Raven. Raven. <laughs> um, he also he asked another question. Jesus, how did you get into fighting game tournaments? I think he meant tournaments. Um, I got into fighting game tournaments just watching streams. I was like, yo, this community seems pretty cool. Uh, a lot of hilarious guys, and I think I have the potential to get better and play at that caliber. So I looked online, tried to find a local fighting game community in my area, and lo and behold, I found the Southern Virginia uh, FGC. And the rest is history. I can actually say that I am a regional champion in Injustice because I won top of the food chain 9 Injustice. So. It's a good feeling knowing that you won a tournament and you walked away with other people's money. <laughs> um, let's see. Max Cardillo asks, Are there any fighting games that you wish were more popular like Virtual Fighter, Dead or Alive, and Tekken? Because I would love to see Virtual Fighter back at EVO next year. Actually, yes. I really want Virtual Fighter to be popular. Um, I played Virtual Fighter quite a bit when I was a kid, but I never really played it seriously. So, it would be nice to actually see Virtual Fighter uh, make a comeback and be a little bit more mainstream uh, in the in the states. Um, Dead or Alive is kind of meh. Uh, the community for Dead or Alive is kind of wishy-washy, so nah. But Tekken is fine. Tekken is absolutely fine. Um, it's just not as big, you know. It's still very popular, but it's not as big in the U.S. Uh, American Police State asks, Hey Zap, do you plan on getting Destiny? I'll get Destiny later. I'm not going to get it on launch day, but I'm going to get it sometime afterwards. Like, I'm not in a really big rush. Because, to be honest with you, I'll probably play Destiny a little bit, and then I'll probably stop and play something like Loadout or Left 4 Dead or something. Just because I have more fun with those. Um, I, I, th my problem is, I have fun with a lot of my older games. And the newer games don't really measure up to them. So I'm kind of at a point where I don't really feel the need to buy new games just because they're new games. And I end up just completely like disregarding new shit that comes out. So, yeah. Uh, like a boss guy, I asked a third question. He said, any tips for an Injustice player who's not a beginner and not at your level? Practice. Go into training mode and practice. Learn what works and what doesn't work. Um, there's no real secret tip that people are holding out from each other as far as fighting games. Just go into the lab and practice. Find out what works and what doesn't work. You know, there are things that I learned um, from from playing against other people that I've learned to uh, implement into my gameplay. You know, I learned what I should do against Green Lantern, what I shouldn't do against Deathstroke. Uh, I learned what strings Ares does and how to block them successfully. So, just just practice. Like this, it's not. There's no secret. Um, Vict asks, "What?" This was actually a lot of questions. <laughs> he asks, "What do you think about Soul Calibur?" Um, Soul Calibur is. It hasn't been good in my opinion since two. Uh. I would never spend money on another Soul Calibur ever again. No, Soul Calibur just kind of fallen off. Um, Keeper of Peace, and I actually as answered his question um, in the comment section, but I'll answer it on Zap Talks. Uh, this is going to be the last question too. Um, have you heard about the Game of Thrones Telltale game, and would you be into playing that? Um, I don't watch Game of Thrones. I don't even really watch TV. Um, I only, I only watch, I only watch The Walking Dead on TV, and I'm waiting for that to come out again. Season five, dog. Like, come on, my body is ready. <laughs> but I don't really watch TV. Um, so, would I care about a Game of Thrones video game? No. I give a fuck. <laughs> and then he told me that it's the best show ever, along with Breaking Bad, of course. I, I don't I never watched Breaking Bad either so I can't really say yes or no but if they came out with a telltale Breaking Bad I wouldn't give a shit about that either <laughs> but 
Um, as y'all can see, I'm very picky about what I buy and what I watch. You know, I don't like to have my time wasted. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode of Zap Talks. Um, y'all let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, if you have any questions that you would like for me to answer in episode number 22, feel free to do so. And uh, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Horrible. <laughs> Fourth place again, man. The I was doing so well earlier. The salt runs deep. <laughs> Keith. <laughs> My name's Keith, bro. Uh, I'll catch you up. Willie 2014. I'll catch you up. <laughs> Still waiting. A skeleton at the uh, at the desk. <laughs> One day you'll reach that illustrious third place. Ask gameplay, man. <laughs>